All right, guys, here's our little setup. Are we putting that TV on the wall? See the little boy's hands all over the fingerprints on the wall. So we're gonna raise it up a little bit. Put on the wall, placing this older fireplace. It's embedded in this wood frame. Um, it looks nice. We bought this a few years ago, guys. So we're gonna just kind of spruce the front room up and make it look really nice. Look at our plant. Our plant is dying. Gotta fix that too. But yeah, we're gonna make this look real nice, guys. This whole setup. So this is the before picture. And um, the after is coming out. So we're gonna remove the TV and play this out and start measuring things and uh, get things installed. So I'm not gonna show me installing the TV on the wall. I have a video on my channel, I believe, for one of those uh, wall installations. Um, I'm gonna move an outlet. I'm gonna install the outlet as well. And I'll show you guys how I did that or how I do it. Um, certified electrician, so I know that stuff backwards. Okay, guys, got our hole. Now lines measure ready. This is the bottom of where the TV gonna set. It's just four feet off the ground. Made the outlet five feet. Um, made the power from off of uh, this line here. Using the best way to cut the holes, drywall saw. But I'm gonna show the TV installation. Yeah, I'll just show you guys um, the process of this as I move along to install this TV. All right, guys. We're Moving out, we're getting things done. Uh, fishing for uh, the wire I'll be using. Some non-metallic or NM cable, 12 gauge. I wouldn't use 14 gauge for this, but um, for this short of a run, 14 gauge uh, would be fine as well, but I'm using 12 gauge. Make sure the power is off when you're messing with any electrical um, or doing any service to any electrical. All right, you gotta pull it through. So we're going to cut it off, guys, and we're going to get it going. All right, guys, I'm about to install the mount. I'm going to clean things up, get the wall cleaned up. Okay guys, now that we're done with the TV, it's time for us to mount the fireplace. We already know I didn't get the magic eraser and we may erase our mark yet because I want to get the center of the fireplace with the TV in this wall. So use a magic eraser when I'm done, clean this wall up really nice. Um, let's get the fireplace up here and see what we got. All right guys, we got the box up here. We're gonna open it and see everything we got. Should be a simple installation. Um, there's no marks to show if it's front or back, but uh, we're going to remove it um, carefully. Give me a light just for extra light. So let me get this up. Pretty thick box. Packed well. Some non hardware here, some anchors. We got our own anchors if we need them. Guys, there's many wall anchors on the market that are suitable for this application. However, I've had plenty of success with these wall dog anchors. I use them a lot, guys, a lot, lot. And these are the ones we'll be using the one and one quarter inch wall dog wall anchors. But there, there's a host of wall anchors on the market that you use for this product. And um, I just want to share that with you guys. So. We'll be using the wall dog one and a quarter inch anchors. Got the instructions on your remote guns. So we don't need those. Put it out of the way. So let me get this thing out of here, guys. Oh, well, the front is facing that way. So there's nothing on the box that identifies what's the front and the back. So you have to open it because everything's the same. On both sides.
Guys, this thing's packaged extremely well. Got a nice film over the get glass to keep it from scratching, getting marks on it. And it can be some nice decorative crystal rocks. Uh, nicely sparkle to them. So let's get this cover off, guys. Some more instructions. So with this one, guys, it comes with just some uh, large instructions as well. <laughs> they got the operating manual as well as, well as instructions. Um, but it comes with some just straightforward, larger instructions. Um, very nice piece. Very, very nice. It's going to look really well under the TV. Okay, guys, the first thing we're going to do is remove this glass out of our way. I got, I using those styrofoam packing to uh, lean this fireplace up on when we get this glass removed. But super easy. There's one screw on the left corner. There's an arrow actually marked by it. Just want to remove this one screw and I'll show you guys how to lift it up off of um, the fireplace. Make sure you don't lose this screw. Keep this screw, guys. Let's get the glass off. May need two people to help me with this. So once you get it removed, there's this data cable here, guys. Just want to remove it off here. I'm gonna have to cut this wire tie off off here first, and then we'll pull that off. So you want to cut this wire tie, guys. I'm gonna cut this off. You gotta be careful not to cut the cable. You're gonna pull up and push down, pull up. As far as the glass guys, to remove the glass guys, you wanna, once you remove that screw, you just wanna slide the glass up off these, these hooks, where it hook onto um, this metal brace. Just wanna slide it up, pull it out, on all of them. All right, let's secure the glass, guys, and let's start on the fireplace. Removing the, the mount, the rear mount. Okay, guys, I got the glass secured on the couch. Make sure it won't move anywhere. So it's, now it's time for us to remove the back of that mount. We're going to prop the fireplace on those styrofoam blocks. So once again, to remove the mount, this is the mount, guys. This is the mount. So to remove it, we got... Fill the screw here and another one opposite side. All right there. So let's do that now. Guys, hold on to that mount when you're removing that last screw so it won't fall onto the floor. Okay, now that we got the bracket removed, this is all we need to focus on right now, guys. That's it. Focus on this, getting this bracket secure and centered. So let's move this out of our way now, guys. We don't need this no more. We just got to focus on the mount. Possibly find some studs in the wall. If not, we'll use some um, anchors. Okay, guys, now that we got the bracket off, the mountain bracket, um, since we got the center of the room, which is you want to measure from wall to wall, divide in half, and get the center, or you wanna have a dead center at, in the room, and we're gonna make the center on this bracket so we can line the center of the bracket with the center uh, mark for the room where we want the fireplace to sit on the wall. So, uh, it's 54, to be exact, 54 and a quarter. So that's 27 and one eight. We're gonna be marking that.
So that's our mark, guys. 27 and 1-8 uh, put us dead center to the room. So let's get the, our height now. Um, we're going to measure the glass. We're going to measure the height of the glass because I want to come up an inch from the wall outlet. I want the core to be hid as much as possible of the outlet cover itself. All right. So we just want the inch from there. And let's go measure the fireplace glass okay so the height of the fireplace glass is 18 inches yeah 18 inches so that's where our height is going to be at so we get our mark there guys that's our mark so the bracket will mount like so we'll be lining those marks up so all we have to do is get a leveler. That's our mark right there, guys. So guys, we got our straight marks. I know none of these don't fall on those studs, but we are gonna check and see guys. Let's check and see which one of these fall on a stud. Seen guys, not one of them fall in the place of a still, which is fine. So we got the anchor screws, guys, and we're gonna anchor it up. It doesn't weigh much at all. Okay, guys. Um, they didn't give me an exact weight on it, so I wasn't sure how heavy it was. It's not heavy at all. Um, these hundred round anchors, I'm not gonna need these. I bought these. I got many of these 50 pound anchors, 50 pounds per screw wall anchors. We're gonna use these guys. They go right in the hole. Cost number about seven bucks. Um, a pack. This is perfect for this um, fireplace. These are rated at 50 pounds a screw. So that means it'll take 50 pounds of force to snatch this um, off the, out of that wall. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, times five, it's 350 pounds of force um, holding against uh, this fireplace. When this fireplace doesn't weigh I'm guessing 60, 70 pounds max. So let's get this mounted up, drilled up, and uh, go from there. All right, guys, we're perfectly mounted on the wall. All right, let's get our fireplace and um, set it in place and uh, start back. Uh, Assembling it. All right, try to get the screws back in place on both sides.
perfect. Alright guys, let's move these dry tires out the way, you wanna snip them. Scissors or something. This is just for I'm guessing this is for to ensure this thing arrives in one piece and ship it out. So now let's add some crystals, guys. Look at that dead center, guys. Too cold. We're gonna get a magic eraser and clean it up. But let's get a uh, place some crystals on here, guys. Uh, those things can be sharp, so you might want to use gloves when you put them crystals. Got sharp edges. Just be careful. For the record, guys, they see this is a little tray. As you guys can see my finger. And, uh, it's a little crystal, crystal tray. Pretty neat. Cool. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you guys the LEDs. You guys can see the LED lights underneath that tray. Liking this. I guess it's the heating element for the heat to disperse out of these vents. So we're going to test all that out, guys. Guys, I managed to get both bags in. To get both bags in, guys, you gotta be careful. Just do one at a time when it go to get into the end of them to keep them from falling. So let's install the glass, lock it in place. You may need some help, guys, because you want, don't forget you wanna plug this in. You can't mess the plug up. See that notch on that plug? It only goes in one way. You can't mess it up. So you may need some help, guys, to plug that in while you hold that mirror up. So let me, let's get that installed now, guys. Guys, right here I'm using a microfiber cloth to kind of get some of that dust off of the lens of that fireplace to make sure um, it gives out a great optical illusion um, when we turn it on or when we power it up. So just make sure you kind of clear debris or some styrofoam packing that may have stuck onto that lens or that um, display. Okay, guys. All right, guys, we got it in slot, so we're gonna lock that screw in place. We gotta lock this screw in place now, guys. See it lining right up. This thing is really nice. I'm very impressed. We're gonna peel that cellophane off in a minute, guys. All right, guys, this glass is secure in place. This thing looks beautiful. Let's take the, the cellophane off. Okay, guys, I want to show something. I couldn't, I didn't have to show this. I want you guys to know. I pushed it in, but I didn't push it all the way in. So you want to be careful. And look at that, guys. So you want to push that in. So we got to take it back off. Uh, just lift it out some and push that wire in for the data cable. So just want to note that things happen. I pushed it in, but it came back out. So, um, Let's, we're going to get that back in and uh, and plug this thing up. See what we got. All right, guys. We got it pushed back in. It took a second to do. Uh, let's put the screw back in now. Guys, when you're putting those wall anchors in, it's very important to note. You screw them in slowly, guys. Do not twist them in because they'll strip out and then they'll come off the wall. Look how flush that mount is, guys. 
That's what you want. That mount is flush. It's not going anywhere. If you over tighten those anchors, guys, they're useless. They'll just come out the wall, guys. Look at that. This is perfect. Perfectly installed. I don't think it's going to hold on for a minute. So let's move this uh, shrink wrap or cellophane, guys, off this, the face of this. This is a beautiful piece, guys. It's really nice. Really, really nice. Reveal this beauty. Look at that, guys. Got some fingerprints on it, but we'll clean that off. But this is beautiful. Really nice piece, guys. Love the mesh. Got the, like I said, the heating element here. So the, unlike some of the other ones, like the real flame, um, I've installed. Um, the heat pushes from up top, so you can kind of possibly. I don't know if you can overheat your TV, but you can possibly damage the TV with that much heat. This is a nice little distance. I wouldn't be concerned with heat dissipating from if the vents were at the top, but it's better when they're in the front, guys. Um, like the old fireplace, here's the old one, guys. The heat um, came from in the front through the wire mesh right there. So uh, let's get this plug. We're going to um, get this plug wrapped around here, guys, and then we're going to, um, here's a, the main power switch. Make sure you guys can see it. Let me get some light. Main power switch there. And there should be a touch panel here. And we're going to see how this thing's function, guys. We're going to test the heat out in the different color modes. All right, guys. TV. Look at that. I'm going to have that plug a little bit better, guys. But this is just for right now. So, um, let's. That's the remote. So it has a it has batteries in it. I guess when you pull this clear tab out, um, the battery becomes functional. Like that. So this should be all good. Got a dimmer. Yeah, it's pretty much self-explanatory. But we're gonna test it out right now. Let's hit the main switch because this is not gonna work until you hit the main switch. Okay. Main power. Oh, that is nice. That is beautiful. That is really nice. So let's play with some colorways now, guys. That is nice. We got the ambient lighting up there. Let me turn this light off. Let's see what we got, guys. Lighting up there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's see. That says it's got color A and color B. I got a touch panel too. Oh man, this thing is awesome. It lights up the touch panel too, guys. So you can actually have the same modes as this. Let's just some light going before we go dark again. That is nice. Okay, touch panel on. Shut dimmer. Oh wow. Past three settings, four settings, five. That's extremely bright. So one, it's kind of mellow, guys. Just want to have a romantic evening. Two, three, four, five. And I'm pressing the dimmer button, guys. So let's go back to one. Come back to one. So we got, the, let's test the heat. Let's, oh, speed, you got speed. Let's try speed first. Oh, wow. So that's the speed one. It slows the flame down. Speed two, a little bit more rapid. Three, faster, four, five. So it's one to five, both are one to five, the dimmer and the speed itself. Pretty cool. All these buttons are on the touch panel as well. Let's see if it lights up. Oh, it lights up when you touch it. Oh, wow. So, colors. We change the color of the flames with the button with the lines going up. And with the lines going sideways, you change the color of the rocks itself. Nice. Blue, 
green. So it's probably pretty much every color on the color on the color spectrum. Really nice colors, guys. So is that just that I like that blue. I like that blue. Let's try the blue again. Oh, that is nice. So let's try the heat. Oh, that's the brightness. I'm sorry. So let's try heat now. This is the heat symbol. Let's see how quick it get hot. Let me get my heat gun so I can show you guys. So these are just decoy vents. The heat comes from here, guys. Let's turn that back off. Let's turn the heat back off. Fan is still blowing. Okay, takes a minute for it to go off. Oh, this thing is beautiful, guys. So we're going to get the heat going real quick and kind of close this video out. So I got my heat gun, guys. We're going to see how quick this thing heats up from start. Right now, let's get a temperature reading. We just had it on, so it's 70, 73. Well, not really because it's about 80 degrees outside. Let's check the thermostat. Get a good temperature reading. 77 indoor. So we... Right there, guys. Nowhere near hot. So let's see how fast it heats up. So, all right. Let's turn the power on. You can just touch on there. That's two settings, let's go. Wow. Rapidly, I gotta just keep on. So I'm moving off of the heating element. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Wow! In a matter of seconds, two seventy five. That's great for them cold, win, them cold winter nights. This thing is kicking out some heat. And it's climbing too, guys. Climbing, 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 climbing. Mind you, it hasn't been on a minute yet. And that's getting hot, so I gotta get back. <laughs> My hand is getting hot, guys. My hand is getting hot. Is he gonna crack the 300 barrier? As long as that metal keep heating up, we should get the 300. Ooh, that boy heat my hand up. It's just like an oven. So let's see if that's the highest setting. So we can just touch on this panel anywhere and see what we got. That's off. So that was the highest one, guys. Um, turn off. So uh, after you press the button, it pauses and turn off. So, guys, we're going to wrap this video up. Um, I'm in love with this machine. I think it's great, great product. Very impressed. Love all the colors. Gives out that ambient lighting. Um, beautiful glow. Really nice piece. Really nice piece uh, to have a wonderful cozy evening guys so if you found this video helpful guys subscribe to the channel whole lot more coming guys whole lot more product reviews as well hit the notification bell so you guys be notified about new content terrence i'm out